Well, good morning, everybody. I'm Mitch, old guy in a drone. And I'm out here this morning at the Palm Bay Regional Park to fly the Tyro 129 with INAV and try to answer the burning question, is INAV better than Betaflight? So we'll go ahead and, uh, and fly it and I'll show you some of the features of INAV and we'll talk about uh, some of the reasons why INAV might be better than Betaflight and Betaflight might be better than INAV. And then uh, I'll leave it up to you to decide with your style of flying whether uh, you would rather have INAV on your quad or Betaflight. So here we go. Okay, this is my uh, Tyro 129, which is a 7-inch, $129 kit from Banggood. And fortunately, on the flight controller on this thing, it had the barometer, which is one of the prerequisites for, uh, for INAV. And if you look up at the top here, you'll see a GPS and magnetometer or compass uh, combination. And with the magnetometer, the compass, and the barometer, you have what you need to fly a quad uh, that not only flies like any Betaflight quad with, uh, in full acro mode, but has a lot of nav features that we're used to on our camera drones like uh, position hold, altitude hold, return to home, automatic landing, waypoint following, and a few others. Okay, well, Go ahead and plug the battery in to the quad here, and then we'll uh, we'll set it out and let the let the satellites lock on. Okay, got a picture in the goggles. I'll start the goggles recording. I started the recording in the uh, Runcam 5, and right now it says I got 14 satellites, I got a lock, so I'm going to take it off in angle mode, and we're going to hover it up a little bit, and then I'm going to turn on the position hold, I'm doing this line of sight, and see uh, if it holds its position. Take it off, and turn on. Now I'm in position hold and altitude hold so that I can adjust the altitude with the stick, but the quad is holding its position pretty well. Okay, now I'm in acro mode and I'm flying it around like I would, just like I would a any quad with beta flight on it.
Then I'm gonna fly it out a little ways. And then I'm gonna hit the return to home and see what happens. So I'm gonna fly out here. I'm up at 100, about 100 foot altitude. I'm gonna hit the return to home. And the quad turns towards home. And now I'm totally off the stick. It says it's flying auto throttle. And we're gonna see if it comes back home and lands. So I'm gonna take the goggles off of my head. I'm gonna grab the camera. I'm gonna come out here. Still coming home, it says. <laughs> I think I hear it overhead. It's up at 137 feet. There it is up there. Okay, so it's right overhead now. It's turning around. I hope we can this is catching this on the on the camera. And it is gonna land right where it took off. Getting pretty windy out here, so it is. It is crabbing into the wind. And here it comes. And there it is. <laughs> so I went ahead and flew it around in acro mode and uh, hit the return to home switch and it it came right back and landed and the wind is really starting to kick up and it did a, a very good job of, uh, of landing right where it uh, or very close to where it took off. So that shows you a little bit about what you can do with INAV. Okay here we are back in the workshop and the question of the day is INAV or Betaflight better? And it's a subjective question. Um, and I think it's largely dependent on the type of flying that you do. Betaflight, and I'm sure most will admit, probably has more advanced tuning features and at this stage more advanced filtering than uh, INAV does, although INAV's catching up. If you're the kind of FPV pilot that needs your quad's response to be state-of-the-art because you race or you like to rip, I think then Betaflight might be for you. You can put GPS Rescue in Betaflight, which gives you some features of iNav, at least a return to home, but without the auto land. However, on the other hand, if you're a pilot like me that doesn't demand as much from your quad when you're flying, maybe you're a relative beginner, then I think the safety features that INAV gives you, especially in position hold, altitude hold, return to home, auto land, it's going to give you a lot more confidence uh, when you're out there flying in the acro mode. So I guess there's really no distinct answer to the question. I think the answer lies in what's best for you. With all that said, I hope you enjoyed the video and the flight. And stay tuned because in one of my upcoming uh, FPV workshop live streams, we're going to actually go through the steps and convert my second Tyro 129, which is now stock on Betaflight, we're going to convert that to another INAV powered Tyro 129 step by step. Until then, as usual, take the rest of the day off. Go play with your drones and just have a great day. Bye bye.